What's up, people? What's up, Yaush? Welcome to the third edition of the Modern Warfare 3 perk breakdown. We're on tier three. I've got my boys with me, yeah, the good old OG, the good old WAC4863, and the good old Chaos X Science of the J-Man. How are you boys doing? Who's going to take away the first one today? That is going to be me, ladies and gentlemen. You guys know me as OG Walrus. My name is Adam, and I'm going to break down the Marksman perk, the first perk in Tier 3. And to me, this looks like for you know maybe the guys that are more traditional when it comes to sniping, the first effect that you're going to get from this perk is being able to identify targets at more of a distance. So it's kind of complicated. When I was up at um, Call of Duty XP, I didn't quite understand how this perk Chaos uh, turned it on to me, and it's it's interesting, you guys. Basically, the way that it works is that um, when you when you're running around the map, you, if you have this perk on, you can see people on the screen, not the mini map. Their red tag comes up on the screen from a farther distance away. So if you're looking through a wall or a fence, you may see this red uh, this red tag come up, and it's it can be kind of confusing, but it also is a little bit helpful as far as identifying a direction that an enemy may be coming from and approaching your teammates. The pro effect is very similar to what we all know in, uh, in Black Ops. You hold your breath for just a little bit longer when you're sniping. So that's the Marksman perk. WAC4863 is going to talk to you guys a little bit about the Stalker perk. I was pretty sure he was going to lead into that saying, WAC4863 is a Stalker. Damn it! But we'll, we'll live without it. All right, guys, so let me take you through the Stalker. Basically, what you have, and this is really cool because this is the first ever that I've seen for a first-person shooter to do this. It is increased movement speed while aiming down sights. That means cocked up, ready to rock, and, and you're able to actually move. You don't feel like you're held by rubber bands on both sides or something like that. So pretty cool there. That's the regular effect. The pro effect is that there's an added delay uh, from enemies' claymores exploding. So we can kind of get through those. Maybe we don't explode. Maybe uh, we do. Who knows? Uh, the next up is sit rep, and who's going to take that away? Does anybody else think that English muffins and cream cheese are like a perfect food relationship? No. What's up, guys? Jameer Chaos Silencer. <laughs> and I'm going to talk to you about Sit Rep real quick. Probably one of the, the underused perks in Tier 3, I'm going to guess. Um, basically, the regular effect, detect enemy explosives and tack inserts. And now you will have some of your rushers and some people playing in search that will use this. But for the most part, I think it's going to be pretty underused. The pro effect, now this is a little different. Because we're going back to Modern Warfare 2, 3, where the sound whoring may be amped up, and I don't know if they fixed it or if it's going to be like it was in Modern Warfare 2, but this is where you can hear the opposing team's footsteps and they make more noise. So, with that being said, if the sound whoring is there and it's amped up, this one, people will use this just to get to the pro effect. So, that is sit rep, and who's going to take steady aim? That'd be Mr. Blackout, people. Steady aim's back yet again. Well, this is for your rushes. This is for your NASA ones or something like that. You guys that are up in the action. Increased accuracy while firing from the hip is the regular effect, how it's always been. Pro effect, weapon ready more quickly after sprinting. How many times have you been caught with your pants down after sprinting, head on, around a corner, and bam, someone's in front of you. Well, this time you get to recover quickly from sprinting, pull your weapon up, and take them down with a hip fire. I love it. I want it. Love you long time. Dead silence away. Four for four. All right, uh, and the answer is 10, exactly. That's how many times I've been caught with my pants down. Um, so dead silence, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and I had to have this perk. I love this perk. This is quieter movement, and this is the first anti-perk perk, okay? And the reason why I say that is because it says that recon does not work as well against you. If you guys remember from our Tier 1 uh, video, we broke down what recon was. Make sure you go back and watch it if you don't know what I'm talking about. But this is the one and only time I've ever seen an anti-perk perk, which is totally cool to say. I love saying it. I'd like to say it all day long. The pro effect for it is that you don't take any fall damage. So that kind of relates to Lightweight from Black Ops and I believe Commando from Modern Warfare 2. But that wraps up the three uh, the three tiers that we have, and I think Mr. Blackout's going to take us away. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys are learning stuff. I hope you're getting the information you need from us. Before you leave, make sure you leave a little list of one to five, or which perk are you going to use the most, one being the most, five being the least. 
We'd like to see your input, see what your opinions are. Stay tuned for Series 4, where we're going to actually give you guys our opinion of a straight rundown of our perks, what we would like to use, our style of gameplay. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. We'll see you soon. Yaush, we love you. Peace. Yaush. Yeah,